uh, my boss in New Mexico was president. Um, really lovely man, uh, smart, and lived in the community a long time. He was a business, he was, was an accountant and CPA and whatever, made up for the business ranks. He hated public speaking. He hated it being on the radio. And one of the great uh, opportunities I had, which I always was worried about, is uh, Jonathan, take care of it for me. And I would go welcome people and offer remarks. And, you know, he had a hangnail, so he couldn't go speak to the economic development board at that. But one of the things he was told along the way, because he was so reticent about the issue, that, that somebody advised him, it's like a consultant, at least talk about yourself. Tell him you like golf. And tie golf somehow to enjoy life. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, and I think that little bit of thought did make him a better public speaker. Mm -hmm. And I guess mm -hmm. I'm kind of saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Organize your thoughts a little bit. Where do you want to? Do you start off with a list and say, here are the five things you ought to know to be a, a good nurse? Mm -hmm. And then do the narrative, or do you talk about here's the things you ought to do? And at the end, let me repeat that. Here are the mm -hmm. five things you just heard that I believe. And I think if you think about that ahead of time, you will ultimately come to the decision for that particular speech. I should say this first, or I should say last. Mm -hmm. it, it does come down to preparation again. I think if you can stop and think about what you have to do, and if you give yourself no time, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. That's my, and I've proven 